Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages. Right, uh, I got down uh, here uh, to England uh, yesterday at half past five, but I should have been there at half past three. A uh, train was cancelled and uh, no another one for two hours, but anyhow. Right, so in this segment, and I, I said before I came that I would uh, get ciders or drinks or anything that I've not tried before and this is a new one premium cider Koppenberg or Koppenberg uh, winter punch apple cider with a taste of black berry and black currant I hope it's got a taste as nice as it looks I don't think so but anyhow it was about four pound for four I think and Tesco and Berska or Bar Berska bridge right First, just smells like normal cider. I only put them in the fridge for about six minutes. Nowhere near as good as I thought it would be. It's nowhere near as good as the summer uh, punch. Nowhere near. Because that's more like, Arr! but uh, the summer punch is more oomphed. Uh, that one's more meh. Uh, it would be nice if you kept that in the like freezer for about an hour. Black currant. Aye, well, that's a uh, blackberry, and that's a black currant. Aye, so blackberry is like blackberry, apple, and blackberry, and then currants. Uh, black. <coughs> Apple and black currant is a nice, like, Robinson's. Oh, it's actually not too bad. Just be better if it was a little bit more chilled. I only kept it in the fridge for about eight minutes. I might do another small uh, review while reviewing something else and tell you uh, at a later date if it's better, like, properly chilled uh, for more than eight hours. Uh, it is like it's got a good aftertaste it's only uh, 3.4% so aye it's nice nowhere near as nice as the summer one though because the summer one's more refreshing that's a bit like darker more like uh, it's got deeper uh, flavours, but the uh, the summer one's like more brighter and fresher and cleaner. Aye. Uh, it's not bad though. I would get it again though. It's nice. I would recommend it highly. But uh, anyway, so I'll be reviewing uh, ciders like that uh, in the next coming weeks. Or, aye, uh, because I might get... <coughs> Uh, the one that I tried last year, if I get that, again I'll review it again and uh, do like an updated version. Because it was last year, around about this time, I had it. It was like spiced blackcurrant one. Be good if there was a spiced apple one. Anyhow, so, there's no much else I can say about that. Uh, the more you drink it, the more nicer it is. It's definitely nicer than any other cider that's just like normal apple flavour. Monday we're going to go back to Southport to play snooker. Don't know about Tuesday, but then Tuesday evening I'm going to Marine FC football match. Wednesday Liverpool to see the market. No, no, no Wednesday. Thursday to see the market, so I don't know what we're doing Wednesday. Thursday, Friday... Hopefully my uncle Chris is going to come and uh, see me and then do something with me. Saturday we've got the family get together and then I don't know about Sunday, Monday and then I go back home Tuesday. So, huh. aye, so you can get it in Tesco but you'd definitely be able to get it in Asda or Iceland I would imagine. I like getting my ciders although either in Tesco or Asda. 
Asda's probably a, a bit cheaper. I would say that Asda's about a pound or one pound fifty cheaper than Tesco or uh, Iceland. But if you didn't have a Tesco Tesco club card, some things could be one pound or one pound fifty extra, and that is ridiculous. Anyhow, so um, I. Uh, that was it. That's my review of this premium and it is premium, premium cider Koppenberg Koppenberg, apple cider with a taste of black currant, and black no blackberry and black currant winter punch. So out of ten, I would give it. Hmm, it's got a really good aftertaste. So I would uh, give it. 7.5 out of 10. Anyway, so that's it. Right. Tatty bye. Shut up to one to and he wins to Vaja, and he wins Grandman, and he wins Grandad. And keep, uh, keep it cider.